hello guys i'm officially tagged 35 weeks down today and most of you have been an integral part of this my pregnancy journey so this is going to be a very boring blog because it's not um, going to be all about the usual stuff you guys know me with which is um tips on living here in new zealand and how to go around your visa and all that um so it's gonna be quite boring and with what is happening now we know there's a little bit of there's a a little bit of happenings around um, new zealand immigration even we the immigrant in here that are still waiting for a resident visa and our um, permanent residents and all that it's taking a little bit of why because of covid and all that so just be patient be happy do what you need to do and um, all the tips that i've been giving you how to get your stuff ready just keep doing that while we we'll wait for updates about um the next step to take about migrating here so officially i stopped work last week at 34 weeks plus because of um it's becoming hard on me a medical condition that i could not just cope with um standing for too long and all that but i would make a later video if you guys want to know and talk about that so what today's video is going to be all about i want to share what my craving my last trimester craving is you know my first second trimester i was really craving for home food despite all odds and the difficulty bringing food here i tried on one attempt and the food didn't get here and the second one i sent via ems right now i can't track it they're just telling me departed awkward office legos so i'm just hoping it gets here and i'm also praying it gets here because i spend a whole lot of money buying the food and um, sending it over here and um even the uh, family that helped me in buying it all of that and i have really wanted to be here so but this try last trimester it got a little bit easy on me i'm craving for things i could get here and one of the craving is watermelon this is actually the season here though is somehow expensive so what i do is it's somehow expensive and not always in stock in the supermarket too <laughs> So if I just see it, I buy. Just keep buying. Like this is the one I bought on Sunday. This is about, I think they were selling, is it like nearly $4 per kg? This is almost um, $25. And I stepped out today just for a wee walk. I saw this one, $2.99 per kg. And I grabbed it. This is around $10. Yeah. So I've sorted myself out when it comes to watermelon till next week. And I'm craving for um cherries too. And I can't complain because at least these ones I could get them here. So I'll just go off camera, slice my watermelon. I'm going to do half now, have a quarter to myself and the baby, then keep the, the other quarter. For, you know so and later on i would like to make a pussy soup with um there's this um stuff i discovered normal pumpkin seed here that is green in color it actually says pumpkin seed so i've tried making a pussy soup with it i really turned that good and I have shared the tip with some of um, my African friends here and they liked it. So I'm going to um, show you guys how I 
make a wussy soup with that pumpkin seed and it turn out to be like the real a wussy soup you and i know let her run but i have to get the watermelon done first and feed bubble to get energy to cook the soup so guys um back to do the egusi soup this is the stuff i'm using to cook it but i prepared some of it off camera this is capsin i know some of you would be like capsin in egusi soup cooking um overseas especially in country like new zealand that is far away is all about innovation experiment whatever makes it look yummy and whatever makes it taste yummy in your mouth then that's it so this is the the main thing for the soup this is green pumpkin seed that i found here so how i do is i wash off the green coating with warm water the much i could get off it tastes exactly like a wussy if you if you use it it's just the green color so i'm just a bit in a hurry so i couldn't get to the green coating of modern days but as much as you are comfortable with or you can cook it with the green coating it's just the color so that's my red oil that's my crayfish my seasoning powder and this is my um, stock fish stripe stock. Yeah, if you watch my previous video, you will know how I came about with this. So, um, this is silver beet vegetable. Yeah, I'm not using onubo and I'm not using spinach. I know some of you will go to the comment section and start telling me that spinach is closer to pumpkin leaf yeah but what i'm doing is to cook what is within my limit keep cost low and um bring that taste board yeah make my family taste a little bit of niger food in their mouth yeah why keeping cost low because if you don't take your time you might eat your destiny here things are expensive especially things to make African delicacy and silver beet is in season so I just went for it so I will just blend this I'm using nitro bullets actually I've had this for a while now up to three four years if I'm not mistaken that's what I use in blending my Obono you see um and beans for moi moi and akara yeah so Sorry, I did that off camera so I can save data for you guys. Yeah, and meanwhile, the um, beef soup bone is still cooking. Is it biscuit bone or is beef soup bone? I like using it not because of I cannot afford beef, but because of the stock I get from it and my family we are not really into beef i'm not really a fan of it not in this pregnancy and um, my small boy can't eat it can't eat beef or else it, unless it's beef means and my husband is not a fan of beef so it's the stock i'm after that's why i usually go for beef soup beef soup bone and i'll just put my stock fish now so that it will start getting cooked and i know the next question would be like um no dry fish oh no dry fish i don't have for this soup but i've got crayfish that i think will give me a little bit of that taste like i said before i started this video my aim is not really to cook your perfect pussy soup for you so don't rush into the comment section and start blasting my aim is to improvise do some innovation eat healthy yeah and If 
you are not like that perfect abusive, so don't worry when I come back to Nigeria and when my stuff when I finally track my stuff from EMS I would I would cook that perfect and pussy soup for you. But this is how I've been cooking my food for a while here and I'm cutting costs and Nigerians, few Nigerian friends that I have, I have that have tested it. The one was a little bit of reluctant. Eating with capsaicin, but when she finally did, she loved it. So going to do more of So I'm just going to put um, our Ebusi balls get the same already we are uh, waiting for that to happen you don't want it huh? you don't want the lolly this way love no no don't touch my tripod okay take that that way <coughs> yeah give to daddy and you come and have um some watermelon Just give rest some watermelon while we carry on. Do you want some watermelon? Yes. Huh? Yes. Say yes, please. Yes, please, mommy. It's for daddy's. Yeah, for daddy and resting. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't put your hand there. You wait for mommy to give you. Brush your hand. Okay, go and sit down on the table and eat wisely. Go. Go and sit down on the table. Can you go over? The yeah. Go and sit down on the table and eat nicely. Okay.
<laughs> you can use your citrus. No, that says not know um this silver bit leaf is closer to water leaf when it comes to being watery so I'm going to make the consistency of soup really thick because um water is going to be dropping off from there and one thing about this um melon I'm using is that it doesn't take time to get cooked because it's actually um, a raw one meant to be true so what? let's proceed with my turn on you I need to rinse it up yeah I'm gonna enjoy your watermelon love yeah. soup will be ready in a juvie okay okay So I'll just add two teaspoons. Because I think it's any dry fish. Yeah. So I'll just now pick I quite like the consistency. The stick. I don't know how to bring the camera closer for you guys to see. So, this is um, this is what it looks like at the moment. So, I'll just add my veggies. And in five minutes or so, we should be done. too bad at cooking though. Watermelon. So I'll just swap this. So that I could start. Sorry. I could start doing the same one and not keep the guys hungry. I don't know, just do what works for you. I first of all mix my same with um, cold water. I'm doing with warm water, so I'm just put it straight in. Like I said, what works for you. This is the method I've tried over time, like works for me. Yep. So I'll just reduce the warm. 
much. Okay guys, I'm done with my soup and the salmon. Yeah, this is the outcome of it. Just let me know if this does not look like um the egusi soup you are used to. This is um Nigerian egusi soup in New Zealand, the one that went to Harvard. What do you think?